12 UK notorious criminals jailed for life. You're hereby sentenced to life imprisonment. Words like these weren't being uttered in the UK courts prior to 1983. Even when life imprisonment was introduced in 1983, they were imposed by government ministers. It was after the appeal made by prisoner Anthony Anderson in 2002 that the powers were removed and conferred on judges instead. Consequent to the exercise of such power, a great number of criminals have been jailed for life in UK prisons. As of July 2022, there were over 70 criminals, some high profile, serving whole life sentences in the country. This video will show you 12 UK notorious criminals jailed for life. Crime story in the UK shows that some of them are serial killers and child murderers. 1. John Duffy John Francis Duffy, the so-called railway killer, and his partner in crime, David Mulcahy, are British serial killers and serial rapists. In the 1980s, both notorious criminals took pleasure in attacking women and children at railway stations. Duffy, born in 1958, and Mulcahy, born in 1959, are popularly known as the railway rapists, committing the crime often referred to as the railway murders. Before his arrest on the 7th of November 1986, John had attacked numerous women and children. He was once identified in the press as the railway murderer or laser eyes after murdering three women and raping a number of other women based on evidence. Jailed in 1988, he continues to serve a whole life sentence. 2. Rose West Next is Rose West, a serial killer who is serving her whole life sentence currently at HM Prison, Newhall, Flockton, West Yorkshire. Born on 29th of November 1953, Rose, together with her husband Fred, was convicted for the torture and murder of at least nine persons between 1973 and 1987. Rose also murdered her eight-year-old stepdaughter in 1971. The majority of those murders were committed at her residence in Gloucester. They were arrested in 1994, but Fred reportedly committed suicide in prison after his arrest. However, Rose was convicted in 1995 and has been on a whole life order since then. 3. Levi Belfield Levi Belfield is another one of the 12 UK notorious criminals jailed for life. The English serial killer, kidnapper, sex offender, rapist and burglar is currently serving whole life order in HM Prison Franklin. Born on the 17th of May 1968 as Levi Ravitz, he goes on record in crime history in the UK as the first prisoner to receive two whole life orders. In 2002, the murder of schoolgirl Millie Dowler who went missing from Walton-on-Thames and whose body was discovered in Hampshire six months later was traced to Levi. On the 23rd of June 2011, a whole life order was imposed on him for this. He was also found guilty of murdering Marsha McDonnell and Amélie Delagrange, and the attempted murder of Kate Sheedy. He also bagged another life sentence for this on the 23rd of June 2011. It was reported in 2022 that he was also behind the murder of Lynn and Megan Russell. 4. Steve Wright Steve Wright, also known as the Suffolk Strangler, was sentenced to life in February 2008. The English serial killer Stephen Gerald James Wright was born on 24th of April of 1958 in the Norfolk village of Erpingham. He was found guilty of murdering five prostitutes while plying their trade in Ipswich, Suffolk between 30th of October and 10th of December 2006. He's serving a whole life term in HM Prison Long Latin. His conviction was handed down alongside a recommendation that he should never be released. In 2008, he appealed and later dropped the appeal on 2nd of February of 2009. Forensic evidence that led to his arrest was conclusive because tiny flecks of blood that were found on the back seats of his Ford Mondeo could not be refuted. 5. Peter Tobin Peter Tobin had earlier served a 10-year prison term for rape, buggery and indecent assault between 1993 and 2004. In 2009, the Scottish man was given a whole life sentence for the murders of Dinah McCall in Margate, Vicky Hamilton and Angelica Kluck between 1991 and 2006. He was also suspected of the disappearances and murder of other young women and girls. The serial killer and sex offender served a whole life order at HM Prison Edinburgh until his death on 8th of October 2022 at the age of 76. 6. Michael Adebolajo 
Another one of the UK notorious criminals jailed for life in the UK is Michael Adebolajo. In 2014, Michael was given a whole life sentence for the killing of Lee Rigby, a drummer serving in the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. Michael attacked the soldier near the Royal Artillery Barracks in Woolwich. The British citizen with Nigerian ancestry who converted to Islam was having contact with Omar Bakri Muhammad and Anjem Chowdhury, who co-founded the banned British group al Maharujan Islamic Group. Together with another terrorist, Michael Adebowali, also of Nigerian ancestry, he was in part radicalized by Al-Qaeda lectures. On the afternoon of 22nd of May 2013, they both attacked Fusilier Lee Rigby, who was off duty while walking home. 7. Dale Cregan Dale Christopher Cregan was given a whole life order on the 13th of June 2013 for the murder of Greater Manchester Police Officers, Constables Nicola Hughes and Fiona Bone. The killing, which took place on the 18th of September 2012, was unprecedented. Two female police officers murdered in the UK. Acting on the reports of a burglary in Tameside, they were ambushed while responding to the emergency call made by Dale himself to lure them into his trap. Both of them came under 32 gunshots and one grenade attack. Dale also confessed to two other murders in which the victims were from the same family, linked to a gangland feud also in the same year. 8. Mark Bridger Mark Leonard Bridger received a whole life sentence on the 30th of May 2013 for the abduction and murder of April Jones, a five-year-old girl. The deceased was last seen alive on the 1st of October 2012 in Macalineth, Wales. Mark claimed to have accidentally run April over while driving, adding that he could not remember where he kept his body as he was under the influence of alcohol. Thus, the victim's body was never found police could correctly link her DNA profile to blood and bone fragments found in Bridger's house and this led to the conclusion that she had suffered deadly injuries and her body may have been dismembered. 9. Christopher Halliwell Christopher Halliwell was first convicted on the 19th of October of 2012 for the murder of 22-year-old Sean O'Callaghan in March 2011 after picking her up outside a nightclub in Swindon and later stabbing her to death. He was then sentenced to life imprisonment, but with a minimum term of 25 years. While in detention, he later confessed to the killing of another woman, 20-year-old Becky Godden. Becky went missing in Swindon in 2003. On the 23rd of September 2016, he was given a whole life sentence. Though the first evidence was ruled inadmissible as the detective breached the guidelines, other evidence linking him to the murder emerged and was used to prosecute him. 10. Arthur Simpson Kent Arthur Simpson Kent was convicted of the murder of his partner, former EastEnder actress Sean Blake, and their sons, 8-year-old Zachary and 4-year-old Amon. He beat and stabbed them to death in December 2015 at their home in Erith, London, and buried them in the back garden. He later fled to Ghana. He was caught and returned to the UK to be tried. Police conclusion is that he committed the crime because she was planning to leave him. He was given a whole life sentence on 5th of October 2016 after pleading guilty to the murders. 11. Stephen Port Stephen John Port, also known as the Grinder Killer, murdered four men he met on the internet at different times between August 2014 and September 2015. He sweet-talked them to his barking home for sex and gave them fatal doses of drugs. The four bodies were found dumped within 500 metres of his house in or near a graveyard. As a former chef, Stephen, according to the trial judge, should have known that the drug could cause death and should have learned from the death of his first victim. He was convicted of murder and sentenced in 2016 to a whole life term. 12. Thomas Mayer Thomas Alexander Mayer shot and stabbed Labour Party Member of Parliament named Joe Cox on the 16th of June 2016 outside a library in Burstall, West Yorkshire. Thomas confessed to having researched and orchestrated his assassination plan prior to the murder. He committed the murder to advance a political, racial and ideological cause, according to the judge, who said he had no doubt that the criminal was after advancing white supremacism and exclusive nationalism, which are mostly associated with Nazism. In 2016, he was given a whole life sentence. These 12 UK notorious criminals jailed for life aren't the most popular, but they're incarcerated in different facilities, as you can see. Please let's have your comments on all this. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.